long as you have not contemplated the Creator. You belong to created beings, but when you have contemplated Him, created beings belong to you. Ibn Atta Allah, He come. Qasim ibn Muhammad ibn Abu Bakar was one of the most renowned jurists of Medina and a key figure in early Islamic scholarship. As one of the seven great imams of the city, he played a pivotal role in the dissemination of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam traditions. early Islamic jurisprudence and Quranic interpretation. His remarkable lineage adds to his significance Qasim was the grandson of the first Khalif Abu Bakar Ashidik radiallahu an and his mother was the daughter of Yazdagrid, the last king of Persia. A revered scholar, Qasim was known not just for his vast knowledge but for his pity and adherence to the Sunnah. Abu Zanat, a promin prominent scholar of the time, once said, I never saw anyone better than him in following the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam." In our time, no one is considered perfect unless he perfectly follows the Sunnah and Qasim is among those perfected men. His deep understanding of Islamic teachings led many, including his cont contemporaries, to hold him in the highest esteem. Abdurrahman ibn Abi Zannat relayed his father's observation. I did not see anyone who knew the Sunnah better than Al Qasim. His reputation extended far and wide, with figures like Imam Malik quoting Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, the fifth rightly guided Khalif, who remarked, if it were in my hands, I would have made Al Qasim the Khalif in my time. In addition to his scholarly pursuits, Qasim was known for his humility and generosity. One well known incident highlights his character. After distributing charity, some people spoke ill of him behind his back. His son defended him, pointing out that Qasim had given away the charity without taking anything for himself. However, Qasim quickly scolded his son, teaching him to remain silent and not to defend him, as his focus was always on pleasing God not seeking approval from others. Esteemed scholars of the time, such as Yahya ibn Sayyid and Ayyub as Sakityani, uh, echoed these sentiments. They acknowledged Qasim's unmatched knowledge, devotion and integrity. In fact, Ayub Asakityani noted that upon his passing, Qasim left behind 100,000 dinars for the poor, all earned through lawful means. 
Cosim passed away in 108 or 109 Hijriah or 726 CE while on pilgrimage at a place between Makkah and Madinah called Al Qudait. He was 70 years old. His influence, however, did not end with his passing. Qasim passed on his legacy and the secret of the golden chain to his grandson, the renowned Imam Ja'far as Sadiq, ensuring that the deep knowledge and spiritual traditions continues to flourish. Qasim Ibn Muhammad's life story is a testament to the enduring impact of true scholarship, humility, and devotion to God, leaving a lasting mark on Islamic history and jurisprudence. His story continues to inspire scholars and seekers of knowledge to this day.